it's Angie Greenup with more Holiday Fear Finds. Today we're at Monkey King and we're going to check out some vinyl toys for that special someone. I'm here with Lauren, who is actually the buyer for Monkey King. So Lauren, tell me, what is Monkey King? Monkey King is actually a designer vinyl toy store, so you won't be able to find this stuff in every store in the mall or anything like that. There's really not a whole lot of companies that produce this stuff as well. We're actually one of them that do produce our own toys. Vinyl art is literally just, it's, it's toy art for adults, really, is what it is. The easiest way to explain it is it's 3D art. So a lot of these artists, they're really expensive paintings. They'll do paintings that are $3,000 you or I can't normally afford it. So what we would do is we get these artists to do 3D versions, which are cheaper, they're smaller runs, or they're collectibles. A lot of the mini toys, you don't know what you're getting. It's a surprise. So it's about collecting them and getting the full series. Well, we'd love to see some of your favorites that would be great gift ideas for the more eccentric friends and family members. This was probably one of the hardest toys that we've produced yet. Um, Luke's white and black bear, it's the last and third colorway of this bear. So this one's still available from us, it's 100 bucks, it's a real good price for a Luke toy. This piece started with the original painting which was what's black and white and red all over. So his was a black bunny coming out of the white suit. There's only a few of those left though, I'd probably say we have probably less than 50 left. Okay, I love a good wind-up toy. Let's see what this guy does. He's holding a cookie. Whoa! <laughs> this is actually our Omi wall. We took the whole entire thing blank to San Diego Comic-Con in 2010 and had all the different professionals come by and do their own versions on them. It comes blank and you just get to design it yourself? You can design it yourself. We always ask people if people like to do them and send them in to us to add to our wall. We always love to show that. This is a great thing that we have a lot of kids come in that are inspired to do their own DIYs and things like that. You can even actually cut them down. So this one's an example of a, a guy by the name of Lap. He actually cuts his and turns them into a light so they're actually more like a night light. I mean, you really can go from cute to horrific within five seconds. <laughs> this zombie robber doesn't rob zombies. It's a zombie who happens to rob. <laughs> so Lauren, a lot of our Fearnet fans are really into, you know, horror, fantasy, creatures. Do you have anything in that realm? Yes, this is actually called Screaming for the Sunrise. It's a piece done by Yosuke Yamamoto. We actually uh, took it from this print. So when we saw his dragon piece, we decided we had to make it into a toy. So this is the 3D version of it that we'll be releasing. So it's a big one for us this winter. We don't produce as much as other companies, but when we do, it's something that we really, really take a lot of pride in and really want to get out there to the public. And what is your website so people can find you guys? Our website is monkeyking.com. We sell everything on our website. Everything's available online. We ship all over the world. We're kind of that place that carries all of it in one.